What's that, Jerry? A new update? Rock pet. Mine two and a half thousand ore. A rock pet has joined your party. Let's see what this baby can do. <laughs> it makes you fly. Of course. Rocks. The providers of levitation since 1903. They tell you to turn off your phones to respect the pebbles that don't have thumbs. So Skyblock had an update, and there are 16 new pets. It's no secret that the thing I care about most in this game is minions. Small beings that work all day without pay and get faster if you feed them. Seems like child labour laws haven't quite caught up to the digital world yet. So when the new pets were released, I was determined to find which pet would maximise my profit and make me the most money through minions. First up, the golem pet. Looks pretty good, does a ton of damage, but there's already a YouTube video on it with 100,000 views. I can't make another one. What about the hound pet? One of its main abilities is to give more coins. In order to obtain the hound pet, you must kill wolves. Yeah, I'm not going to show killing dogs on my video. The most popular and most useful new pet is the skeleton pet. It has like three different damage multipliers. So I bought one, then someone came up and offered my skeleton milk, and it left me. The endemite pet helps with zealot farming. You disgust me. You've all seen hundreds of videos of that, and I'm not going to show you any more on principle. There's also a dolphin pet, but they're actually incredibly smart, and I'd feel really bad about enslaving one and using it for myself. Wait, why is there a human pet? As the greatest cocoa bean farmer, I was very excited to see there is a monkey pet, but it's been a week and we still don't know what the legendary version does. That's like ordering a pair of shoes online, when they're delivered, it's just the laces. Then a week later they send the rest of the shoes, and the velcro. Jellyfish is specifically for an update that is never coming out, and there's a video on it with tons of views as well. So I'm kind of running out of hope that any of these new pets will help me with my minions. Oh look, YouTube sent me a survey. Do you feel productive? Are you taking time to try something new? Are you concerned about the safety of your friends and family? Jeez YouTube, what are you trying to say? Uh, back to pets. Tarantula. As an Australian, I have 25 of them in the house at all times, so this won't give me anything extra. Cool. Scary face. Baby Yeti. I don't want children in my videos. There's a black cat that gives luck. I don't allow ironing in my videos. Which just leaves Spider Pet. Ooh, tarantula minions work faster. This might be where my answer lies. I've had tarantula minions for ages, since they're the highest earning minion even at low tiers, so I went and bought 15 more of them. Well, you have to craft them first, which might sound easy, but it takes far longer than you'd ever expect. First, you need to buy wood, craft it into sticks, craft that into four wooden swords. Now you're ready to start buying string and craft four spider minions. Then level them up a collective six times, that's your spider minions done. Now you get to make tarantula minions, get a spider eye and some shiny string and make that. Then level it up four more times and you're done with one minion. Time to do it 23 more times. Don't forget that half your inventory is full of upgrades and you have to upgrade it in your inventory or risk doing it all over again. Now that you're completely brain dead, you have 24 tarantula minions. The next problem, where to put them? My current tarantula setup is uh, problematic. Whenever I collect them, they come up and slap me in the face. Also, people have been visiting them and giving them some entertainment to distract them from their job. I know it's sometimes hard to tell if what I say is a joke, but uh, that was actually true. Please stop entertaining my tarantulas. Surely there's a better way of setting these up. I tried a glass city at first, boxes of glass so I can keep an eye on them at all times. I was the surveyor of the- wait, what? Nope, they're jumping out. They're jumping to their deaths. You're dying, but not the way I want you to die. My next idea was to build a giant tower to cage them up, but uh, that went so badly I had to tear it down. No, you can't ask what happened. My island is really just a collection of failed experiments. Two cocoa bean farms, a ghost farming box, a wood generating line of trees, two flower farms, and now five goddamn tarantula setups. So, I did what anyone does when they're failing. Copy someone else, I mean educate myself. So, I bought a blueprint off the dark web. It was called something like How to Catch a Spider by J. Jonah Jameson, I think. I ended up with this. All the tarantulas in one block, not being able to escape. Perfect. And building it wasn't too bad either. God damn it, fuck, you could eight legged bit. As a video creator, what are your biggest concerns right now? With the lockdown, how am I supposed to have a boxing match against another YouTuber? Okay, I have my setup done, but I'm out of money, so I can't level my minions up enough to be useful. How do you get money in this game? It's not like there are any guides on the matter. I need to figure this out myself. Quitting Skyblock! Highest bid on my cocoa bean gets my sharpness too! Wooden sword! Hehehe. <laughs> Just wait until the bids start rolling in. While that was going on, I entered a parkour contest. It took 30 minutes to set up, and this was the whole thing. I win! Okay, so YouTube thinks there are only 10 countries. Apparently it's possible to self-pearl spam. 
which involves committing suicide 500 times, then convincing these guys to also commit suicide. We got full Jonestown here. But to even use this method, you need to upgrade the personal bank, which costs 5 million coins. Now I can deposit money wherever I am. So, an ATM. I paid 5 million dollars for an ATM. How much does an ATM cost? It oh, I got scammed. Yeah, this is already boring. Oh, look, someone made a money-making guide. Oh, these are outdated. What a terrible YouTuber. After nothing else seemed to work, I fell into a dark place. I had to make money doing immoral things. Things you wouldn't want to see. I farmed zealots. Die. 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 Summoning I. And it worked. I was gaining combat XP and money at the same time. Finally, I have 24 tarantula minions. I'll be rich. I get to sell my enchanted string for two thousand. Wait, no. Why is th why is the price down so much? No, stop, please. What is happening? Please. Do you know how much sanity a man loses building five tarantula enclosures? YouTube is holding my family ransom. I need to make this video. Ugh. Well, that didn't work. Maybe I came back to the pet rock. I mean, look how fast it is. <laughs> so if I hit someone with a 10 kilo rock going mock speed, nothing. Please don't share any personal information, such as your channel name. Hello, my channel name is PewDiePie. Oh no, did I break a rule? Guess you gotta delete my channel and give all my subs away. Probably to whoever is the best Skyblock YouTuber. <laughs> I'm a genius for this. Uh, I better go back to my island for my daily crying session. Oh good, Dynamic Pool Era is back. I really missed that. Wait, why does YouTube not think PewDiePie is a word? Or YouTuber? My minion setup might not be making me tons of money, but that's just because my spider pet isn't maxed out yet. There are lots of ways to level it up, but the best two are feeding it carrots and murder. I chose the more exciting method. I had hundreds of people farming carrots for me. Every lobby was cleared out. I hired so many people to farm carrots, I ended the unemployment crisis. I have more carrots than I could ever use. Eat, my children. Eat. My spider pet was feasting like a king, and as he grew, the speed of my minions did too. But this came at a cost. I went mad with carrots. I started only eating carrot-based meals. I robbed farmer's paddocks. I dreamt only of carrots. I even started wearing orange clothing. Okay, that last one was actually mandated by state because of the robbing farmers one. But at least my minions were making me money. I even got to the top 1,000 in collecting spider eyes, so this kind of counts as a trek video as well. These pole dancing arachnids finally had a respectable output. I'd spent 50 million coins on it all, but my minions are the best. A whopping 100 coins higher than the next. So if I just check the maths here, it'll take about a, it's 877 days to pay itself back. And with a carrot only die, I'm not living that long.